How to Carve a Chicken You don't have to be a specialist to carve a chicken successfully. All you need is some patience and an extremely sharp knife. You will need a whole roasted chicken, a sharp carving or chef's knife, a cutting board, and a serving platter. When you're cooking proteins, as soon as you take them out of the oven, if you cut them open right away, a lot of juices are going to escape. So what you want to do is let it sit so the juices sort of settle down. While you're letting it rest, what you can do with all the juices and everything, turn on the stove, throw in a little bit of wine and chicken stock and let it deglaze, cook it down a little bit and drain it out and it'd be a nice little sauce you can serve on the side. Step one, cut the trussing string. Step two, remove the leg and thigh. Cut right past the, between the breast and the thigh, you slice right there and you cut down a little bit and you can pull away and it comes off very easily. So now you've got your thigh and your uh, chicken leg together. You can either serve it like that or you can cut it and what you want to do is you want to sort of feel around where that joint, where that knuckle is and you can just cut right through it. As you see it's nice and moist and cooked perfectly. Step three. Begin carving the breast. You want to go right down the center. There's the center breast plate there. Slice right alongside of it. And you want to do is bring your knife down until you hit the cartilage. Pull away a little bit and slide down the breast. Step four, remove the breast meat. And what you could do here is now when you're down at this point, there's the, other, there's the joint right here that hooks onto the wing bone. You can bend it back and take the whole wing with you. So you could either serve the breast and the wing together like this, or if you want to separate that, once again, you just cut that there, and then you can serve your wings and your breast separately. There you go. Enjoy your roasted chicken. Did you know chickens were first domesticated in India and China as early as 5000 BC?